We're here at the drive-in theaters because we're waiting for the tide. It's uh, it's low tide right now. We're waiting for that to come in. We're at the drive-in theaters. I'm we're gonna so we're gonna cook dinner in the back of the truck. Yes. Truck life. Let's do it. Truck life. Truck life. I can't believe we're at the drive-in movie theater. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. We're waiting for the tide to come in, and we've got like three or four hours, really, so. I'm so excited. Yeah. I've always wanted to do this. And I'm making just... dinner right now. <laughs> I've got sausages, I've got veggies, I've got eggs and bacon. Well, nice. Actually, I think I'm out of bacon now. Hmm, but... gonna put some old bay. Gonna put some old bay. <laughs> later. What's going on everyone? Tonight we're night fishing in Cape Cod and I'm here with North Chatham Outfitters. I'm here with Austin and Maddie over here and I want to ask you guys what kind of lures should we be throwing? The rule of the thumb is uh, is black and purple. Uh, it's a great color combination for nighttime fishing. I've got a black and purple tactical angler. I think you got a SP minnow on here. Yep. Uh, black and purple again and uh, Maddie's actually All black fishing. Bomber. The all black bomber. Oh, nice. Ooh. Quite so, similar to the SP Minnow there. Yeah, all very black similar is action. Sleek, though. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. <laughs> What's so, the game, plan? Uh, the game plan is uh, it's a slow fish. So, uh, very slow, uh, you know, not too much rod motion on, the, on your SP Minnows and okay. bombers. Basically, we'll, when we get out uh, on the beach, uh, there's a jetty off to our left side here, and we'll, we'll walk out on the jetty, see how we do. The tide's incoming, so. Um, you know, there's no telling how long we'll last on the jetty before it gets kind of to the unsafe factor. And then we'll move on to the back behind us is a big uh, grass flat. And the fish usually kind of come up onto the flat for that hour, magic hour, and then pull right back off. So we'll, uh, we'll try our luck. Perfect. Yeah. Hooks. So we're fishing an incoming tide. This jetty is, is getting flooded. These flats are getting flooded. Fish are coming in, feeding on the bait fish. Hopefully we can get on a blitz. <laughs> I hate touching the fish. Like handling them? But so try not to handle them with anything but the fish grips and pliers if I have to. So now we're out here fishing the grass flats. Uh, now it's it's pretty much all the way up high tide, about 30 minutes to an hour left of this tide, um, and once all this water comes up we're we're hoping that all the fish are going to come in and start feeding for a little bit and we're just casting it out bringing it in slow just like before the dinkster dinkster oh yeah buddy the dinkster mcgee more light There we go. This is a lot of fun. See a fishy? But it seems like black and purple is really where it's at. Especially at nighttime. Black and purple, black and purple, black and purple. Nice. And? It was a little better than the last one, that's for sure. And Austin's tip for reeling it really slow, it works. Oh, nice. There we go. It's getting better. That's a nicer one. 
Let's get a picture of this too. Three. Yep, yeah. Good. Okay. See ya. I had fun. I we hit all. We all hit fish. Yeah. Right? We all saw yeah, action. Yeah. It, uh, it was a great across the board. I mean, we all caught fish on all the lures we tried, and uh, you know you can't complain about that. Your tip about going really slow with the SP minnow. Yeah. That really improved everything for me. I was going way too fast before. I wasn't getting any hits. Yep. Everyone around me was getting hits. But then as soon as I slowed it down, really yeah. boom, 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 one after another. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy what you, you know, just a small change in the action of the bait and uh, it really turns on the bike. You know? That's awesome. Yeah. I want to give North Chatham Outfitters a big shout out. Thank you guys for taking cool. us out. Thank you for you know teaching us the local insight Absolutely. as to how to catch these fish. Absolutely. Because we, we travel a lot to a lot of different places and we don't necessarily, we know the basics of fishing. We know the principles of fishing. Sure. But these little tricks like reel it in really slow at night, yeah. you know, that is what sets you know, a one fish night apart from a five fish night, a 10 fish night. That's what it's all about. And that, you know, our, our shop is uh, designed to help people catch more fish, so. All right, we'll see you guys next week. For any more information, check the links in the description below. See you guys.